Hey guys, my name is Chris Kulmud. I'm very proud to show you my new project. Uh, it's gonna be the Retro Beast, the ultimate board in the world for the ultimate Retro Beast system. Uh, I start one month ago. Uh, just to let you know, I'm a professional for building PC, for software and emulation, but uh, for building um, uh, an arcade board, I'm not a professional. So this video is for uh, people that want to do their own project. I want to show you that you can do it. Uh, you don't need uh, any specific skill. You, do, you need a lot of patience because yes, it's very hard because you can change your mind all the time and to find the right idea and stuff like that. But you can do it. Uh, by the way, I did build a few uh, boards before for my racial breeze and I was not satisfied. But this time I say, okay, I need something because I'm gonna work on it every day. So I need space to work, I need my keyboard, I need all the four player, I need every peripheral. It's gonna be, uh, I will include all the Sidon light gun, the Wiimote, uh, PS4, P uh, PS5 controller, uh, spinner, flipper, plunger, everything that you can plug on the retro beast will be accessible, all right? Because I used to have a small uh, X arcade and everything, uh, I have to plug, unplug and everything. So it will have a USB, it will have all the button I need, the switch to turn off, uh, let's say LED blink or turn off some controller. So I just order a few uh, switch USB switch to turn off uh, and on everything. Uh, also HDMI splitter, I can switch uh, PC and stuff like that. I uh, use the Logitech. This one is wonderful. I can hook um, three PC at the same time and you can transfer uh, files. Uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want it to be overcharged for the look, you know? So uh, that's why I buy the, um, it's gonna be the frame. Uh, I just ordered, this is six inches from Amazon. Uh, small uh, cabinet uh, stuff I found on Amazon. This is six inches. It's gonna be, uh, I, I'm gonna put it higher. And on top is gonna be uh, the same one, but eight inches to fit the, um, oh, this one the uh, pixel cake. So every day I sit down, I look at it, and uh, I always have some idea. So what I did, I say, okay, first I start with the, uh, the board, okay? So watch which size of board I need. So uh, I went to my TV, it's a 65 inches, right? So I say, I need it to be a little bit over the TV. The TV is like this, all right? So I say, okay, 60 inches uh, side and 30 inches like this because you need to be far from the TV, all right? And why the 65 inches? Because I like big stuff and I really like working on this screen. It's beautiful, the image is amazing. Uh, so yes, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna play on this. So yeah, okay. So. I went to the, uh, the store and I buy a one quarter uh, MDF, one quarter, because I say, okay, if I do some mistake and I change my mind, I can do another one quarter instead of uh, scrapping a, a three quarter. So I buy three times the one quarter sheet and I sit down, I put four people and I say, okay, all the players should be the best, you know, so every, everybody's got the, the space to, uh, to play without uh, be, being uh, squeezed. <laughs> All right. So 60, so 30 inches was, I find the, the best. And after I found the right angle uh, for the, the shape. I do not use any computer program to design it. Uh, just design it like this with my pencil and I say, okay, like this, like this, like this. Uh, for the button, what I did, 
I Google search uh, arcade button uh, schema and I found this one. It's, it, it is on the first or the third uh, result. So, okay, that's the one I, I, I won. So I print it four times and I move the two uh, button uh, because those one are 24. Because you need 24, uh, 24 for the small button and for regular button, you need 28. I'm gonna show you, there is, ah, this one. This one was 28, 28 for the start, uh, start and coin. And I, I find it too, uh, too tight. So I move them, uh, I think one inches for, for the four player. So you just search it on Google, you print it. You put it on your uh, MDF board that you like, you, pu you, you position the, uh, the, the player, right? With tapes. And after you figure out, okay, where I'm gonna put my uh, track balls. So you sit down, you go, you go up and you say, okay, what's the best place for the track balls? What's the best, best place for all the player? The distance, you play with it. You take your time and after, okay, this is what I want. So you buy the, um, uh, you need a drill and the, uh, I buy this from Amazon. So I use the uh, 28 and 24, all right? And you do your hole. Uh, so actually I use, uh, I use two time one quarter MDF, all right? Let me show you. Two time one quarter MDF. And for the plexiglass, so this is the uh, two time, and the plexiglass is right there. I'm gonna show you. It's one quarter, so total is three quarter. Because the mistake with the three quarter that people buy is it's gonna be too uh, thick. Just a second. If you watch other people video that do, that do a great job, but you will find that the, um, the glass is over the, um, is over the uh, T-molding. So two times one quarter, I find it perfect. Oh, talking about T molding, I order the um, I order the uh, T molding, but uh, how do you say that in English? Uh, transparent uh, that you can see through, uh, and you put uh, RGB light in it. I don't remember the company, but it's really really expensive. But I don't like uh, this one. So I said, I'm gonna put a T-molding with light, it's gonna be wonderful. So, I works. It's a T-molding and you can see the light through it and you insert your uh, RGB. But the best for this is the uh, retro luminescence uh, ribbon, all right? Because what happened with RGB, you will see, you will see all the dot on the uh, T molding and it's really not beautiful. So the best, if you want to buy this, the T molding and, and uh, include light in it, is the um, electroluminescence. It's a ribbon, it's just light. But anyway, I don't like it because this is a hard plastic, very hard. And when you, you squeeze it and you do the corner, you can see the, it's not like uh, flexible. It, it's not flexible at all. A little bit, but not for a uh, corner like this. And here it's gonna bend. It's gonna be uh, thinner. So what I found on Amazon is the um, electroluminescence, but uh, it comes with it's this box. You have a remote and uh, by a 16 feet. But look, you can't, you don't see the dot. It's just pure uh, neon light. And it's perfect. So I put, 
on the edge like this. I glue it and I put some uh, small nails. And it's perfect. And what I re realized, uh, I don't know if you can see, this is the plexiglass, right? The, the cutting edge. The light goes in the plexiglass, okay? But you don't see the blue light, but you will see I'm gonna close the light. See? Every time there is something cut on the plexiglass, the light come off. So what I did, I order, um, it's a tools, it's a tool for glass or plexiglass or rock or a jewel. It, it's a diamond, um, diamond pin on uh, at the end and it's spinning. Let's say, okay, I want to, I want to write uh, player four. So you can take the pencil and everything's going to be on the plexiglass, going to be lighted with the same color as the, uh, the neon. I'm gonna show you there is some default on it. I don't, see, I don't know if you're gonna see on the... Uh, and, I and what I wanna do, I'm gonna show you my diamond. Uh, I bought, it's really, really cheap. Um, uh, diamond cutter for the uh, plexiglass. That, ah, this one. This is really, it's, uh, it's 10 bucks and you have like 10 different size. This is a diamond cut. So I use this to cut the um, to cut the uh, the wood, right? So you need the 28 for big button, and you need the 24 for the joysticks or smaller button. That's it. That's the two size you need. Uh, and you buy this cheap uh, diamond cut. I, I was really stressed. I, so a lot of people, they said, oh yeah, you, you can crack your plexiglass and stuff like that. But with the diamond, it's wonderful. So what I did, I put my MDF, uh, I put my uh, plexiglass at the bottom, right? And I put my uh, MDF uh, already cut on top of the uh, uh, plexiglass, right? I put some uh, thing to tight them together and after you just use the hole you already done from the wood and you go through your uh, plexiglass and it works it's wonderful uh, so yes what I'm gonna do that my this this bit is a 28 I want to use a 30 or 32 and scratch around it just a little bit just turn on top so when I'm gonna put the bottom the light's gonna come. So that's really cool. So yeah, so because the light is going to the plexiglass, it's going, I really, really like it. So I'm gonna use this idea. So I'm, when I'm gonna put my, uh, I'm gonna show you the button. Where's the button? Uh, here, I have one. Okay, this is the Ultimark. I use the, um, that's really great, those one. Um, golden leaf. It's seven bucks, seven bucks US each. You can still see the light, but I'm gonna make it a little bit. Uh, so when my uh, ritual is gonna be off and the light's gonna be on, uh, the light is going to go through the uh, bottom. See? It's not even plug and you can see the light through it. It's amazing. But I'm, gonna, I'm just going to add more accent. As soon as you scratch the plexiglass, uh, you can see the light coming up. So I'm going to do a round with the diamond blade. Just do a two second turn around every button. It's gonna be amazing. Order the, uh, I lost my, uh, the ring around the track ball, so uh, I will receive it. I order the uh, flying the stick, the spinner, I already have it. So yeah, you take your time. So what I did, I used my, uh, one of my uh, working table it's a working table. Uh, I'm gonna show you. I have a picture. It's like 2K, the feet. Uh, 
gonna reward the sound. Okay. I'm gonna show you on the Discord. I show a bunch of. Uh, see, I don't know if you can see. That's a rigorous table. Well, a big table, a glass table with two feet and the two side feet uh, make the letter K. So I say, oh, that's cool for Chris Cool Mod, a K. And um, I did put lights around it. And I say, ah, oh, I like it, but something is missing. So I cover, today I cover all the feet to make a, a box, right? So I remove the glass on top, I keep the feet. And I just cut the same shape as the uh, the board, but smaller, uh, like an inch smaller, and screw it to the feet. And after I use uh, to make the edge, the box, I use this. Just buy a bunch of those, uh, the size you want. But what's important is your button and joystick inside is gonna fit. So you need a lot of space. I'm gonna show you the inside. So that's the inside. So I did the same shape as the board, but one inch, about one inch, one inch and a half uh, smaller, right? So you do your base after you put your, uh, your planche around. I put some uh, rubber on top. Uh, I think I just ordered a, a motor. Uh, piston motor, so it's gonna the the top's gonna open with a button click. It's gonna automatically. I think it's gonna work. I just ordered this. Where it is? Ah, this one. It's a piston, electric uh, pistol. So you click on it, and it's this is that's what they use for uh, TV or stuff to go uh, out of the. Yeah, it's really powerful. It's very slow, but it's powerful. Uh, my, I have, oh yeah, for the st uh, steering wheel, this one. My idea, I remove all the, the, the box from the wheel to keep the inside. And my first idea was to put the uh, driving wheels attached to the bottom. You know, okay, screw there, so the wheels can, it's gonna come like this, right? But the idea was to cut underneath to slice with, uh, with the piston I show you. And when I wanna use the driving, uh, the idea was to turn it down on the table. And when I wanna place to turn, but it was kind of complicated, so I said, no, 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 no. So I buy the regular stand for the G29, the g -Tech, and I'm gonna just bring it there. The first idea was to include underneath all the wheel and pedal and uh, with a button clicking and moving up. Good idea, but kind of complicated. So I say, forget it. So that's it today. Uh, I just finished the, uh, I take my uh, over, <laughs> my over. When the guy cut from the shop the um, the 60 by 30, uh, there was leftover from the four by eight. So I cut them and do the same design as the feet. I did the back. I still have a lot of work and finishing, finishing, but. Uh, I said, wow, I have to do a video to show this because I really like it. I have to finish the feet, cover the feet. So inside is gonna be nothing. Maybe, I have an idea, maybe I'm gonna do a hole right in the middle, in the middle, and put some stuff, whatever, inside. Because uh, the first idea also was to put the, uh, my PC there with a glass and stuff like that. But I need to access my PC all the time. I say, ah, oh, it's gonna be complicated. So every day I change my mind, I change idea. And I say, go, I go for the cleanest 
way. So nothing inside, very, very, very clean. Uh, yeah, really like the neon, the neon uh, ribbon. Uh, the ribbon I have a lot, why? Because I, I will do uh, the edges. The feet's gonna be lighted underneath. So it's gonna be light underneath the cabinet. Not too much, just, it's very soft. And you can lower the uh, intensity and stuff like that. I have two color, the kind of cyan blue and the kind of purple pink. But both together, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, we'll do another video to show all the, uh, all the stuff I'm gonna write with my new tools to grab. Uh, I, th I guess, I think I'm gonna write Player one, player two, stuff like that. And signed by Chris Coolmud there. And uh, all the function button is gonna be uh, those button. I have the old uh, Ultimark button. Uh, those one, I really like it. It's uh, silver. Those ones gonna go for the, uh, for the, uh, uh, the save load and quit and stuff like that and the uh, golden leaf for the player button um, Yeah, I really really like it. I Just finished it. I don't know the design the uh, I know some people they're gonna ask when I'm gonna put on it I don't know. I, I like the clean the white for now uh, I checked the internet for design and uh, you know, the vinyl you can put on underneath. But I know me, uh, one day I'm gonna like one design and the other day I'm gonna say, no, I change it. So until it's not finished, I'm not gonna put any design on it. I really like the, I don't know, the clean, the, clean, uh, the, black, the black and white uh, feel. I really, really like it. I'm not a fan of sticker and stuff like that. I know it's nice, but for now it's gonna be white. So I didn't put a planche there uh, because the steering wheel need to go here. So I'm gonna cover this white. It's gonna be the neon light underneath. Very, very nice. So if you could take your time, it's a long project. It's not something you're gonna do uh, in a weekend, all right? Uh, because you're gonna change your mind. You say, oh, I didn't think about that. I didn't think about this. I want to add this, I want to add that. So every day you need to sit down, you need to check. So you just need a table, some feet. You do your case, you do your uh, board uh, as large as you want. Uh, you can do two player, one player. You need the right tools, that's what I don't have. I buy, uh, I buy tools when I need it, but I do not have the, the, like some people, they do video, they have all the bench and the saw and every tools to do it. So it's very, very hard for me to do this, but I really like it. Okay, let's talk about the, here is gonna be, what I did is I lift my TV up to be higher. Uh, and I buy, you recognize this, is the uh, tree uh, TV uh, hook. And I'm very lucky. I have a very rare three times, uh, uh, I don't know the ratio, but three screen. It's a friend uh, that gave it to me. It's very, very rare. So what I, I, what I did is I'm gonna put the bezel, gonna, that's gonna be the bezel. And I can use every single one separately so I can put something to work on it, another image, uh, the, the bezel in the middle, another uh, wallpaper there, and my sun bar, the sun bar, that's a simple sun bar, but very good. So the sun bar is gonna be, the first idea, I want, <laughs> my first idea was to put the uh, sun bar there, and with a click to lift it up, I say, uh, that's hard. And I, I don't want to cut the plexiglass too many times. I'm very scared to break it or something's gonna happen. But the first I did was to put the, uh, 
the soundbar there with a rotation coming out. But forget it. So it's gonna be uh, underneath. So here, uh, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna build a box like this one. It's gonna cover all the screen, right? And underneath is gonna be the soundbar. But I have to lift the TV again because if I push my, if I push, uh, uh, see now it's not going there. Okay, see, I didn't think about that. I have to cut the edge <laughs> because I'm blocked with the uh, panel. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, so I have to cut there this because the screen, the the table is very far from the. Well, it's not really far, but it's you. That damn, it's gonna look great. The white and the color, it's amazing. So I have to lift the TV. Uh, cover all the screen. So what's gonna happen is gonna be a box, like a cabinet, right? You will have the shelf, the top, um, with the marquee on top, uh, all my accessory, let's say I, I can put my uh, student line gun there, my uh, Xbox controller, the remote, uh, it's gonna be light in it. But sometimes I like uh, a lot of lights and sometimes I do not. So what I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have a switch underneath. I can close some light. Um, I have a lot of idea. So it's gonna be the biggest cabinet in the world. I really, really like it. Um, yeah, that's it. And I have a lot of stuff. This is all the stuff. I have all the joystick. The controller, the sedan, all the wires for the plug. I have a bunch of buttons if I need. Uh, a bunch of RGB I buy time to time, so I have a lot of RGB I'm gonna add. Um, I have a camera to cap the, uh, the screen and it's gonna change the background color. So let's say you play something that it's blue and red, so the background it's gonna follow the image with a small camera. You can buy this, it's a RGB with a camera. So it cap the screen color and you will have the same, uh, they say it's great. When you watch movie, you can do the same when you watch movie. So the background is gonna be almost the same color as the movie. So you have the impression of bigger screen. But let me know what you think if you have some idea. But so far, this is my first video. This is my first cabinet uh, badass build I did so far. I take my time. Um, yeah, so it's not, it's not finished. I, I have a lot, a lot of work to do. It's on uh, the finishing, the finishing uh, here and there. See, this is not right. I have to fix it. I have to find a way to cover all the screen. I have to find a way to put the sandbar also. So maybe the sandbar is gonna be hook there, or the sandbar there. Uh, first idea was to put the sandbar on top, uh, you know, and the sc screen also can be on top also. I can, it's possible. But so far, let me know. Give me some comment if you have some idea. I appreciate and uh, see you on the next video. I will do a part two uh, for about all the RGB, the lens blink is gonna work, how, how I did uh, hook everything. Because this system is gonna have everything you can have on a arcade. Steering wheel, sedan light gun, Wiimote, Xbox, four controller, LED blink, uh, pixel tail, K, sorry, pixel cade panel, uh, RGB light control. Uh, I have a, Google, a mini Google Home I want to put. Also have um, also have the Steam Deck. Steam Deck is gonna be there. Uh, I have the Wii gun, uh, the Wii gun, the sedan, the spinner. Uh, HDMI splitter to change the uh, 
RGB HDMI, RGB control, uh, USB on the front, a ton of USB to plug everything. Uh, I'm gonna receive tomorrow the controller, the USB control. It's a switch, so you can turn off uh, USB, that plug on the... Yeah, so I'm very proud. I worked very hard, but so far, uh, really like it. All right, guys, see you on the next video for the Retro Beast. Maybe it's gonna, well, that's gonna be the big Retro Beast in the world. Yeah. All right, thank you, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.